How would you feel if all you've been working for for years was gone in a second? Imagine you're just a normal person socializing with your friends on social media and then next thing you know, you're just cut out from the world. That's what happens when your Instagram account gets suspended. That's what happened to me and I'm recording this video to tell you the whole story. I have just lost a seven-year-old account with 14,000 subscribers. No! Let's face it, subscriber count is important. A renowned psychologist, Robert Cialdini, brought that up in his book on influence and persuasion. He researched the conformity effect, which basically states that people are more willing to do something if other people are doing it. And it's a scientific fact that whenever you say a social media profile, with a lot of subscribers, you are more inclined to subscribe too. 10 years ago, I started one of my businesses, which was selling and authenticating pre-loved designer handbags. Such brands as Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes, Dior, all brands of this kind. Imagine that you want to purchase a secondhand Louis Vuitton handbag, so how do you verify whether it's authentic or not? You can basically use a third-party service, and usually these are collectors or experts who have extensive knowledge um, and lots of experience in this brand and are able to verify whether an item you are buying is real or fake. That was basically what I was doing and uh, at some point I decided to start an Instagram account and since then it's been growing. I never used any paid tools to grow it. Um, that was organic growth. Um, these were my customers and people who were interested in my services. It was perfect. Perfect. But it was even more than that. It was a confirmation of what I did as a marketer. Over 20 photo shoots and a lot of social media activity. Your background is impressive, but could you show me a few Instagram accounts that you developed? You know, that might be a little problematic. There was also feedback from my customers because whenever they purchased from me, they, they would tag me. And lastly, aside from the fact that certain pictures might be just meaningful to you, your Instagram account or any social media account is your asset. It's something you can sell. I first started this business because I was kind of scammed. I fell victim to the same scam. Um, I was buying uh, myself a bag for my birthday and it was a pre-loved bag. It was listed as authentic. Um, it turned out to be fake. Um, I, I gave away a lot of money. I was heartbroken. But um, at the same time, I promised myself that I will become so good at this that no one will ever scam me again. Little had I known that I will be eventually scammed by a billion dollar company. Now we're getting to what happened to my account a few days back. And as I've been telling you for a really long time, I use Tailwind for my social media automation. Now imagine my surprise. One day I just get a pop-up from Tailwind saying that my Instagram account is disconnected. And that just happens, you know, sometimes you just have to reconnect your Instagram account. So I started reconnecting it. And when I logged in, I saw a message saying that uh, your account was deactivated due to some kind of copyright claims. Now that wasn't the first time my account was deactivated. I have lost, I guess, three Facebook pages and they also had a lot of inf important information such as reviews, uh, pictures from my customers saying thank you, um, a lot of history, a lot of subscribers, obviously I don't remember how many, but these were massive. And actually the same Instagram account was blocked or deactivated, I guess, several times at least, at least two times. And one of them was for two months. Any person not associated with this industry would ask, what the fuck is this? Now the reason it continues to happen are the copyrights. When you work with big brands, it's always tricky because basically you are selling their goods which you don't have the right to sell. Selling pre-loved handbags or any pre-loved items from the, these big names like Chanel, Prada, etc., etc., it is not prohibited, but it's kind of a gray area because you are using the, the trademarks 
But I had one opportunity to appeal that, so I replied with uh, exactly what I said. Um, what I thought to be the biggest problem was that they thought that I'm using some kind of Louis Vuitton's pictures or other materials because that's also prohibited. I described the situation that I'm a fashion blogger and naturally I'm using the names of the big brands like millions of other people. I believe that was um, the problem with this account. And quite frankly, I was absolutely sure that they would unblock my account just because it happened so many times. But yet in a few days, I received a response from Sarah that my Instagram account is permanently suspended. Wanna guess the reason? Turns out I was selling fake handbags. Funny thing was that I stopped to be a reseller several years back. I was never interested in selling anything via this account. Let alone the fact that every single item sold through this account, every single item on the pictures in this account was real and authentic. And I can't even begin to tell you how angry and disappointed I am. And not just by the fact that my Instagram account was suspended, but mostly by the reason. I've been protecting my customers for 10 years. I exposed a lot of counterfeiters and I believe I saved my customers over $1 million. Not only that, I also worked at a cybersecurity company because I wanted to stop the bad guys. I wanted to, I wanted people to be safe, someone to look out for them. I hate people who use your weaknesses to harm you, especially if these weaknesses are your kindness and your belief in other people. And after that, I was accused of selling fakes. <laughs> you serious? If only I were selling replicas, I would have been so well off. But I'm recording this video to raise a conversation about something that I mentioned in my previous videos. And I want you to hear it. It's not a good idea to build your business based on a wide social following. Why? Because the subscribers belong to the platform, not you. And if you think this situation might never happen to you, think twice. As you've seen today, you don't need to break any rules to be suspended and there are lots of reasons why your account might be reported by other people or just flagged by Instagram AI algorithms. What I'm encouraging you to do instead is building your email list. Your customers are the only asset you have. That is something you own and no one can take that from you. Whenever you want to start a project or build a long-term business, you want to make it as stable as possible. And you can only do that when you prevent such risks as your account suspension on Instagram, for instance. If you've ever faced Instagram account suspension, I encourage you to share your story in the comments. It would help a lot of people just not to go crazy and be aware of the reasons why Instagram might block your account too, because I bet that your reason is different from mine. Thank you guys for watching and I'll leave you the link to my new Instagram account in the comments.